Hey everyone, and welcome to the VoiceFlow prompt chaining tutorial. So I'm Dennis, I'm the head of ML here at VoiceFlow, and in this series, we'll be walking through how can we build a powerful conversational AI assistant with only a couple of steps. So in this series, we're going to cover a number of topics, but our goal is to build a cowboy themed restaurant. So let me show you what we want to build. So this assistant will welcome us to the restaurant and we can have a conversation with it. Um, what times are you open at? A pretty, pretty general question you'd ask a, a restaurant. Okay, sun up to sundown, that's pretty good. Okay, what do you have on the menu? Okay, that looks like a lot of good stuff. Okay, what am I interested in? Can I get beef chili and some apple pie? I misspelled beef chili, but hopefully understands. Okay, there we go. Uh, no, I'm good. That's all. Okay, there we go. So we had a conversation with this cowboy restaurant and now the little bit of the secret here is that this only took 10 voice flow blocks to build. So only 10 steps. So I'll give you a look uh, on how we can actually build that. So let's head over to the voice flow canvas. So this is voice flow. Uh, we're in a workspace right now where we can build a bunch of different assistants. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a new assistant. I'm going to call it cowboy restaurant start okay it's not misspell restaurant we're going to select the build ai assistant mode so this is designed for creating ai powered assistants so let's choose web chat that's what we saw before and we'll do it in english so we'll create our assistant here and when we make this assistant what's going to happen is that we're going to see our main starting block here on the canvas. So this is just a plain welcome message. And we're going to see some blocks here on the left, different types of blocks. You can see here we have some AI blocks. Now, the nice thing with VoiceFlow is that you can run your design right on the canvas. So we can hit run here, and it's going to play this one block design for us, which is just a welcome message. So let's go ahead and add our first AI step to the canvas. So let's drag out our response AI step here. And what we're going to do is we're going to connect our start block to this step and delete our old one. Now, what is this first step going to do? We're going to welcome the user to the restaurant. So we can say in our prompt, welcome the user to our boy. And in our response AI step here, we're going to generate, we're going to have a model generate a response based on this prompt. So we can choose different models here. I'm just going to stick with ChatGPT. And we're going to hit preview to see what it comes up with. So this way, you can quickly prototype different prompts and come up with, with different responses. And what we know about large language models is that the responses will change every time. So we can hit preview and it'll regenerate a new response here. There we go. So let's go ahead and run our first version of our cowboy restaurant assistant. Let's hit run. There we go. Waiting for ChatGPT to respond. And here we are. So that's the first video of our tutorial. Uh, in the next video, we'll be diving deeper into making this a more holistic restaurant experience. So let's head over to video number two.